And a great flavor in being able to go the distance, so to speak. He will tell you if asked that a lot of the wrestlers seem to run out of steam and he can go as long as they care. So maybe the old adage of uh, bird in the hand is holding true. He's got his bird in hand right now. Maneuver by Jim Haney. He really wrapped up Johnny Case with that flying head scissors that time. There he is. The Midwest heavyweight wrestling champion. Johnny Case in dire straits at the moment. Now, Mom, if you want to know how you get cauliflower ears, why, uh, you're looking at a perfect example of it right now. The greatest amount of pressure being applied by Jim Haiti is right on the ears of Johnny Case, and uh, a few years of that, and it looks like you could serve an ear for dinner. That's how you get them. Fred Lederberg warning Johnny Case because they are out under the ropes and on the apron and Lederberg pulls him off and Haiti comes on. Body block sends Case flying and a second one. Not this time, Case was waiting for him but Haiti gets the ball. Beautiful. Haiti turns a disastrous position into his own advantage and turn the tables on Johnny Case in a beautiful bit of an overing. Jim Haiti moving. Oops, wait a moment. Wait a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out. Referee Fred Lederer has awarded the match to Johnny Case. And Jim Haiti is beside himself. Now, let's find out what uh, ring announcer Len Sterling has to tell us about it. The time was 14 minutes 20 seconds. A reverse shoulder press, the winner, Johnny Case. 